Hi everyone. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel and Shan We Trust. I'm here with my brother. Hi again, I'm just Samuel. Uh, we had to record as many videos as we can while he was here because I don't know what I'm gonna see him again. It's true. <laughs> so, boom. <laughs> My brother wanted to try Publix fried chicken. I think I'll hold up a piece of chicken. So here we are. We're gonna do a review on this fried chicken. And then he also made us a nice little side salad to go with it. I got a sprinkle of cheese on mine because that's my business. Okay. <laughs> Always eat your veggies. And we have ketchup, avocado ranch, salad dressing. Hot sauce. Texas Pete. Got me a Seagram peach bellini. I have a ginger ale. It's not Canada Drive, but it'll do. Actually, Seagram's is really quite oh, good. Oh, got Seagram's. Cheers. Seagram's to the rescue. <clears throat> so I don't drink a lot of soda, but I do like ginger ale. You want to pray? I prayed last time. You can pray. Okay. Bow your head and say grace. Grace. <laughs> you are so ridiculous. That is not your grace, is it? You ain't say nothing. <laughs> How you not seen that guy on TikTok? No. Oh. I'm taking the talk. Oh my goodness. God, we're so thankful for all that you've done for us for the way you've shown up for us in miraculous ways, for the unfolding, for the divine refinement that we're under right now as humans in this great adventure of life. We're truly thankful. Thankful for this food that we're about to receive may nourish us, even though it's fried. Die and lay it to the side. <laughs> and may it um, give us strength to get through these next videos. In the name, above all other names, Jesus the Christ, amen. Amen. Uh, so I'm gonna. I don't know. Have you ever had this avocado ranch? I've had Chick Fil A's avocado ranch. I like it. Do you? Yeah, it's delicious. But you don't really like stuff like this. Yeah, I don't really eat salad dressing. Is that weird? Yes, it is. Um, but it's my roots, so you know I'm not above. I'm gonna have some tonight. When I make a salad, I usually just um, use red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar or fresh lemon juice, olive oil. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of dressing. Okay, it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. And then I just like toss it with my fingers or I, if it's kale, I massage the leaves. Um, I just like my salads real simple. Because salad dressings have a lot of extra stuff in them that you don't need. But they taste good. I like blue cheese. I like blue cheese. I like ranch. Um, the dressings I don't like are Thousand Island and Catalina. Y'all remember Catalina dressing? Mine used to love that. It's red. It looks kind of like... It looks really like glossy. Like syrup almost. Um. <laughs> this is my idea of a well-balanced meal. A fried chicken and veggies and potatoes. Those potatoes are really good. These are like classic potato wedges. You want hot sauce? I would like some hot sauce. Thank you. They look delish. Oh, put them back come, in the oven. This does come out fast. It does. Yeah, we got in and we had a couple things to do. I had to drill some screws into the dining room chairs. Shannon was catching up with a friend. So we put the food in the oven to warm it up. See, I'm just a friend. See, I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Oh, baby. Was it just a friend you on the phone with? Yes. Okay. 
Mmm, salad dressing's great. I don't really taste the avocado, but. It, it don't kind of taste ranchy. just, I mean, it does, but it don't taste like regular ranch. Although avocado doesn't have a really strong flavor so much. I love avocado though. I love too, actually. Avocado toast? No. Guacamole. Sometimes in the summer I make gazpacho, which is a chill soup. <laughs> <laughs> that is not, it's not appetizing. Listen, I eat super clean most of the time. When I come home, I'm with family, I let it all go. But in the summer when I'm at home in LA, I make a gazpacho sometimes. It's actually really delicious. You make it out of white grapes. White grapes, jalapeno, cucumber, avocado, green onion, white wine vinegar, salt and pepper. Sometimes you can put a little bit of sugar in it or something. And I like to put a little bit of um, green Tabasco, you know, the jalapeno green Tabasco. That does not sound good And at it's all. actually delicious. It's like sweet, a little bit spicy. The cucumber is like really refreshing. Avocado makes it smooth because you put avocado in it and you puree it with an immersion blender. Or you puree it with um, um, a magic bullet or whatever you have. So there's my green there's my green gazpacho recipe. You're welcome. It's legendary, darling. Legendary. Okay. I make it for dinner parties and stuff in the summertime. Are people eat it? Yeah, it's good. It's because your friends in LA, I thought they bougie. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Actually, I feel like if I made it for you, you would actually probably like it. When I'm back in Virginia, It'd me and my girls, we hit up a seafood place and get us some boils. You know? I'm not a big crab person. I like crab cakes. But the, the crab in the shell, I never can, like, figure out how to eat it. But I'm doing better at it. You ain't had no problem with who was in L.A. Well, you were helping me. And they were bigger crabs, too. And they were bigger. They were king crabs. The regular blue crab, blue crabs, steam crabs, that's not for him. Well, I got a chicken breast. You did, and I asked you why you didn't put it in the microwave. Go get it. BRV, you want to start your story? Mm, we are doing, I'm going to speak about Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. This salad is really good. My brother put it together. He done cut the little veggies and stuff. I don't like it. This chicken breast is beautiful. Halloween. Really good, really crunchy, flavorful. I should have just, you right, I should have just put the chicken breast. Wow, it's really seasoned. Better than Sunny's barbecue yesterday. Chicken breast. That thing is huge. Um, yes, I think this is this is seasoned better than Sunny's was for sure. Don't you? It's really crispy. The breading is really seasoned. It's almost too salty. But I don't mind that. Fried chicken is supposed to be salty. <clears throat> Hot sauce. In my bag. Swag. All right, so what are we doing in this video? Okay. We're about to do a story time, y'all. There's a story about a lovely lady. about to do a story time y'all so i moved in on monday and i've been meaning to like go around the property and look to see the different amenities and stuff like that we got a basketball court gym laundry room supposedly 24 hours right 
supposed to be. But we learned that's not the case. <laughs> so yesterday, I mean, I just been putting stuff off all, all week. Cause it's like, I know my brother was busy helping the movers, the loaders, unloaders, stuff in my apartment. Um, we been, we just been running around. We went to Atlanta for a day. You know, been tired at the work. So yesterday was a day that we was gonna go search the property. And search is what we did. <laughs> What's over here? I don't know. <laughs> so this apartment complex. Beautiful. <laughs> I think that's your ice maker. <clears throat> <clears throat> so at this property, we have key fobs. And the gym is supposed to be 24 hours. So I always wondered, like, okay, well... You know, after everybody leaves for the day, at least in the office or whatever, how do you get inside? So, last night, and <laughs> I didn't think it was that late, was it? Mm -mm. It was pitch black, but it really it was wasn't that late. Nine. Okay, so it was kind of late, but it wasn't late. It wasn't like 11. Right. Midnight. How can break? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna edit it. Oh my out. god. Keep it in. <laughs> This is a real you. <laughs> You're comfortable. You're all right. This this, y'all. You feel relieved, don't you? It's a big hearty one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This chicken is great. I just this chicken say. is really good. Shout out to Publix. I feel always funny about eating fried chicken on screen. Why? How often we're... do you do that? Because we're black. And I'm just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> no fried chicken, no watermelon. Right. Right. As an actor, I'm just aware of that. Stereotypes. Racist stereotypes. But it's okay. It's just us. We're having chicken. Mm, and I salad. love fried chicken. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So we go time. out. We're walking around the leasing office or whatever. The clubhouse. You know. I go past the front door where you walk in. At, cause I didn't think there was a place for you to have. You know, scan your key fob right there. Like, they may have. Honestly, they may have. I just don't know. But we walk around the building. So I see this entrance. And it said laundry room. So the laundry room door is open. So I'm like, okay, this is the laundry room. So I'm going around the building a little bit further. And I'm like, okay, I don't think the entrance to the, you know, the gym would be all the way in the back. I'm, I'm like, that path was so dark. Mm-hmm. It was always like we're walking to the woods. Oh, where the basketball court was? Mm -hmm. Where the tennis court was? Basketball yeah, court. basketball court. So we're walking. Right it was very dark. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can cut through the laundry room because I think it was a door on the other side. <laughs> well, I go through the laundry room that was open, that the door was open. It wasn't like I just broke into the And either. I was just trailing behind. On the phone. This is him. Well, you know, I'm young. I was on the gram and, you know, I was... Anyway. So I First of all, you're on your phone a lot, too. Don't do me. Not as much as you. I should have recorded you this whole week as many times you on your phone. Every time I look up, he was just standing there like a deer in headlights. Am I lying? Keep going. <laughs> anyway, I go through the laundry room and I see the under the door. And I see a camera... Like in the corner. So I, I walked through the laundry room. The lights were on everything. And it said 24 hours. Nice laundry room. It was really nice, actually. And then um, I opened the other door. But I'm like, boom. I'm like, this has to be the entrance inside the clubhouse. The door opens, y'all. And the alarm is set off. And it's like, woo, 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 woo. And I'm like, damn. I just looked at the camera. <laughs> so I'm running out, like I'm literally hauling ass, and I, he was he's looking at me like, like this, <laughs> and I'm like the alarm is going off. Come on, let's go. I didn't hear anything. And he was like the alarm, <laughs> and he's like, he goes like this, the alarm, yes, <laughs> like unhand me, <laughs> like get in the car, and let's pull off, <laughs> like. I didn't hear anything. And he's like, I didn't even hear nothing. 
Bring your ass. And then as we, as we started walking and I heard it, I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> it was like loud. <laughs> loud, loud. So we get in the car or whatever. And honestly, we didn't have nothing you else to do. You seem pretty calm about it, though, for the most part. Oh. You were walking fast, but you seem pretty calm. I know, because it just, like, it startled <laughs> me. And I can only think of, like, dang, they. I know the camera saw me. I looked dead at the camera before I tried to open that door. As you were opening or just before you pulled at it? Like, I was just walking up and I noticed the camera and then I opened the door. <laughs> and the door was open. So I don't, it wasn't like it so was locked and I was breaking in. Right. It was uh, it was unlocked. They know it's you. And I feel like honestly, y'all, I never found out if the gym was that way or not. But we didn't have anything else to do but to come back here. So we like we had, they still probably saw our car backing up. Probably going through. There's a camera at the gate. <laughs> so it's like <sighs> I don't think they care though. And then just it was like you should just send them an email and but, say what. Yeah. I'm sorry for sound the alarm. That's a good point. I'm glad you didn't send one, actually. Me either. Um, I wonder why the door was open, though. Isn't that strange? Either? It's very strange. But I feel like you shouldn't have a door that, these, that has an alarm on it. And the other doors are already open. Like, there was no sign that said do not enter. It, it, it was no sign that says alarm will sound. Yeah, there was nothing. <laughs> it was just this door. So, I don't know if the gym is 24 hours, but. Well, it's, well maybe the, all, the hours are different because of COVID, of course. Um, but she told me. Recently? Like, oh, yeah, recently, because you just moved in. Right. Whatever, y'all. I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna just go through the normal business hours, like before five. And check it out. Because. Well, the police never came for us. Thank God, because we're in Georgia. They you probably know, Georgia, came. They, they probably went to the police and all this stuff. So, they didn't come to the apartment. True. Because that alarm was going off for a while. Were you scared last night? I wasn't scared, but I was just like, dang. <laughs> I know she can tell me already because I always call her. I call her every day for something. You should. She worked for you. These apartment managers, these landlords, as much as you're paying in rent, look. Call whenever you need something and don't feel any shame about it. When you need me, call me. Especially because you're just, you're just moving in. This is your second week here. So whatever you need. Let them know. Because I used to bother my landlord. Damn, this is so good. Almost daily when I was in there. What is it, peach? Mm-hmm. Peach Bellini. Okay, that was a cool story. That was a cool story. Like, you wasn't there. I was there. I feel like I'm a really messy eater right now, but... So you have fish in I want to say that the skin is great. It's really crispy, really flavorful. Then, and you know, you always let me tell you something. Am I fish a YouTuber for real? You a fish a YouTuber? Thank you. Um, mom does that face a lot. Doesn't she? Love face. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from her. Mom knows she has great teeth, though. She's good. She oh, doesn't she, she does. have great teeth? She really does. Our and mom she has makes the most sure, teeth, and we have hopefully good genes in the teeth category. She makes sure that she is showing every one of them. She got she got them all, and they're all pretty and straight and white. And she's never had braces. Oh, her chick can't even see the picture up here. She's never had braces. Never had braces. And they're all hers, and she's sixty-two. Yep. Isn't that great? Tell all her business though. Sorry. Well, she looks great for her age. Just a great period. I'll anyway, I was going to say something else. Oh, I was going to say, I'm a foodie, I think. Self-proclaimed. You always test a fried chicken place by the breast. Because <laughs> if the breast is juicy, and the skin is crispy, and it's not dry, show them your bone. They know what they're doing. 
Now, I, normally I would do better work, and I'm gonna work on this off camera, but this was juicy and moist mm -hmm. all the way down to the bone. And the skin is really crispy. Even after reheating this piece in the microwave, the skin is really crispy. <laughs> we reheated these wings and the potato wedges in the oven. So the skin is crispy on those. But this is good chicken, isn't it? It is. For grocery store chicken? Yeah, I heard that Publix had good fried chicken, so I wanted to try it. It almost reminds me of Farm Fresh back home. That okay. chicken was so good. I don't really remember Farm Fresh fried chicken that much. It was crispy like this too. I remember us getting it, but I don't remember. What, I don't remember what it tastes like exactly. <sighs> you know, I'm 35 now. I left home at 17. A long time ago. A long time ago. I remember us getting from fresh fried chicken sometimes, but I don't remember what it tastes like. It was. I'm very sure it was good because we went all the time. Everybody did. They had <laughs> a line on Sundays at the church. Yeah, Aunt Sam used to go get it. Mom used to go get it. Grandma and Granny used to go get it sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well. Mm -hmm. Old country buffet. Oh my god. That place is not all that good. We used to go all the time. My grandparents stayed going to. They have one out here. They have one out here. Do they? Yes. I was older. more of a Golden Corral kid. I hate Golden Corral. Because. Not, I mean, I think the food is about the same at both. Neither place is all that great. But. What I remember and liked about Golden Corral as a kid, I loved. I loved a lot of things when I was a kid: bread, cookies, <laughs> <laughs> cake, pasta. I loved macaroni and cheese. That was like my favorite food as a kid. That food is delicious. But I'm not saying anything about um, Golden Corral specifically as it relates to macaroni and cheese. What I want to say about <laughs> Golden Corral. <laughs> Because I'm getting off topic, <laughs> is that they used to ring a bell mm -hmm. when they were putting out fresh rolls and cookies. You remember that? No. You don't? <laughs> well, you were little. I do not remember that. But they would ring a bell whenever they're putting out fresh, hot cookies and rolls, and their rolls are like big yeast rolls. Where is the lens? I want to make sure I'm looking at the people as I say this. That's on that end. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay. They would ring a bell whenever they had rolls and cookies. Bring me along. And in the South, we have yeast rolls, which puff, because you know you you know you make them with yeast and they puff and they get real fluffy like a pillow. And you can get that golden ground. You, you can get a little honey butter. Honey, remember the honey butter packets? Mm -hmm. Now that you remember. I do. Them shirts used to bang hard. Bang. Okay. The kids still say that bang hard. No. Well, I'm saying it. I'm bringing it back. You can get, you can get, little, you can get little honey butter packets. And I would get a hot roll. As soon as they rang the bell, pull that bitch open. <laughs> take the hot butter packet. And if you hold it, another secret. As a foodie, if you get a cold butter packet, hold it in your hand. Just hold it in your hand for a good 30 seconds. And it'll soften up for you. Because nobody like hard cold butter. At least I don't. Pull that yeast roll open. You hear me? And then you just squeeze the butter from the packet into the middle. And then you push it together and roll it all around. Because I'm a real tactile person. I like to use eating with my hands. Even as I have to hands. show you a picture. Just and then younger. I would pull it out, pull it apart. And the butter would drip. And I would just be like. And then the cookies, chocolate chip cookies, when they were warm and fresh, it would ring a bell. And I'd be up there like, please, ma'am, I'd like some more. I do not remember any of that. Bang. None of that. Now the food at both places, I don't really remember. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was fine. Go to Corral's breakfast used to be good, but they only had it on the weekends. I'm All right, full. I think we've talked about a lot. I'm full. That's how it was really good, and I needed it. Well, you um, you drowned it in dressing. No, I didn't. The cucumbers were good. They were. I don't normally eat cucumbers. Why'd you put them on the list? Because I put them in my water. Oh, cucumbers are great. Sometimes I also just, um, listen to me just talk. Uh. Excuse me. I'm a lady, y'all. I swear <laughs> I am. Sometimes I slice <laughs> them really thin and just uh, put salt and pepper on them. 
and the salt drops With out the vinegar? Liquid. A little bit of vinegar. Mommy's good. They're good. So good. All right. All right, y'all. This well, is good, but I shouldn't eat, but I'm going to eat it. That is all for today. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Any last words? None for me. I have nothing to add. To the Peace, job. love, and chicken grease. We got plenty of that tonight.